Hi, it's me, Joyce. I'm going to be showing you how to varnish today. And um, you're only going to see my hands, okay? Too much trouble getting it back into focus. Um, okay, so you're going to take your painting, your finished painting, you're going to sign it first. You want to sign it. And then you're going to find a surface that you can spray on. And usually I'll just get like a, a drop cloth of some sort. Then you're going to find something like this, uh, you know, it's, I call it a, a riser, and um, these are just um, little containers that are um, top throwaways, and then you're going to slide it under, under your piece, like so, and you want to hide it all the way underneath, okay? Um, I already have sliders underneath there, so imagine it hiding on you. Okay, so you want to hide it so it's, it's, hitting right about here, uh, not right on, not overlapping because you don't want the varnish to hit it. Okay, so then you're going to get, um, I'm going to send you a, a handout and showing you the products that I've used. I've used Gar uh, Golden's Archival Varnish. You want to start with a gloss. Always start with a gloss. The gloss um, creates a wonderful, clear, clear uh, beginnings. So you can always take it to another um, if you want satin or matte they have those two so you start with the spray and we're going to end with this varnish here which is a um, it's a polymurethane varnish okay and here we go now with the spray I got this really cool little handle thing see that little handle awesome right um, it's from it's from um, Home, Home Depot, <laughs> and um, you're gonna you just clamp it on. Make sure your nozzle you see the spray so it doesn't hit any sides of that, and then we begin. Okay, and just like so, and you're going to be about nine inches away. You want to be about nine inches away, and just give an even pass, going in both directions. Okay, even pass, even pass. Easy breezy, just like that. Now, what's gonna, what you're gonna see have happen with your pigments is that, um, and, and don't forget the sides, we wanna remember the sides. The, the, the varnish, the first couple coats of varnish, you're gonna see a difference how the pigment accepts the varnish. No worries, because you eventually it all evens out, okay? Um, okay, so for the sake of this video, I am going to bring in the stunt double. Dun, da, da, da. Here it comes. And stunt double is right here. It has been sprayed and it has uh, dried okay so you, once you've sprayed you want to make sure that it's nice and dry nice dry surface now in between layers I always suggest to use a tack cloth wipe 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 and there you have it okay now traditionally the way um, most you know, varnishes, like, they, they'll pour it in, and you can pour it in, into a container, okay? You can pour it in there, and it says to put one to four, one part water, four parts varnish, mix, but then you, you have to mix it slowly so there's no bubbles. I suggest for my, my canvases to use it as is and not dilute it. Um... You know, maybe maybe there's someday I'll figure out why one to four is a great thing and why um, just using it directly. I my I suspect that it's because it, there's more water and it's heavier. It just makes it a little bit heavier onto your canvas. So I just like uh, using it straight. Now you can pour it into a container such as this, and you can take your sponge brush and then apply it, okay? I suggest another way. I suggest you get a sponge, oh, a, I, oh okay, that's also, I, I didn't talk about it. I use these sponge brushes. It has a nice little wedge to it, 
So it, uh, and I don't even press that hard. I just lay it, lay my varnish down, and I gently glide it along until it's evenly distributed. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so there we go. It's coming, you know, I poured it on, and now I'm giving it even distribution. Why do I do it this way? Because if I start at the top and start painting on the varnish, by the time I get to the bottom, um, the top is dry. What I like to do in, in, on this first pass is actually distribute it. And then once it's all distributed, you go in one direction, then you go in another direction. Okay, and don't forget about the sides. Okay, this is a smaller painting, and um, I believe it's 12 by 16. Um, so it's you know it's easy to, to do this coverage, but if you're painting a larger painting, um, it takes a little longer. So I'm happy that it's smaller. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. And then all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Okay, so don't forget. One direction. One, two. Starting to dry on me. Three. Okay, and then and then you can go another direction. Okay, so that's it for varnishing. And um, you're probably wondering how many layers. Your painting will dictate how many layers. Your 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 own. You know. Whatever you like, if you if you want it, I like giving it at least six to seven layers. Um, but you have to let it dry, thoroughly dry. Okay, so that's it for now. Good luck, and I will be sending you more information about this, um, the handouts, and also I'm going to send another handout showing you how I frame my pieces. Okay, so that's it. Good luck, and I'll talk to you later.